He is most remembered for his iconic character, Tattoo, on the popular 1970s television series, Fantasy Island, ringing the bell while delivering the legendary line, the plane, the plane, at the beginning of each episode. This is a story of Hervé Velichez, one of TV's most lovable actors. You know this is my favorite day of the week. I know both. Hervé Velichez was born in Nazi-occupied Paris on April 23, 1943. He was of English and Filipino descent who achieved worldwide recognition for various roles including that of the evil henchman Nick Knack in the James Bond film The Man with the Golden Gun, as well as Mr. Rourke's assistant Tattoo in the television series Fantasy Island which made him an American icon. Our guests are arriving on time to the second. They always do. And you always act like it's a miracle. Hervé suffered from proportionate dwarfism, likely due to an endocrine disorder. He was bullied at school for his condition and found solace in painting. He was such a gifted artist that in 1959, at the age of 16, he entered the Ecole des Beaux-Arts to study art, and in 1961, he became the youngest artist ever to have his work displayed in the Museum of Paris. <laughs> In 1964, he left France for the United States. He settled in a Bohemian section in New York, taught himself English by watching television, and continued his career as an artist. He began acting in off-Broadway productions, including The Young Master Dante by Warner Lepolt, and also did some photo shoot modeling for National Lampoon before moving on to film. By 1966, Hervé made his first movie appearance in the movie Chapaqua, directed by Conrad Rooks. My name is Conrad Rooks. I began this film, Chapaqua, as a record of my experiences while recovering from chronic alcoholism and drug addiction. This was followed by several films, including Christopher Speets and Werner Lepolt's Malatesta's Carnival of Blood, also Oliver Stone's first film, Seizure. By 1974, he had become so poor, he was living out of his car in Los Angeles. Are you ready, Mr. Bond? Ready. I will now begin the count. His big break came later that year by getting casted in The Man with the Golden Gun by Bond producer Albert R. Bercoli. This way, Mr. Bond. His friend and co-actor Christopher Lee said, The Man with the Golden Gun filming was possibly the happiest time in Hervé's life. Lee likened it to honey in the sandwich between an insecure past and an uncertain future. Handsome tattoo, very handsome. It's my new hobby. Oh, that's nice. There is a great deal of scenic beauty to be photographed on Fantasy Island. I'm not into scenery, boss. I'm mostly into people. That's why that. Hold that smile. Your picture will be ready Thursday. Come see me. In 1977, he inspired the TV series Fantasy Island, where he took the role of Tattoo, the faithful servant of Mr. Rourke, played by Ricardo Motanban. Smiles, everyone! Smiles! <coughs> the series quickly became a great success, making Hervé very rich and famous. Hervé became an active member in a movement in the 1970s and 80s in California to deal with child abuse and neglect, often going to crime scenes himself to help comfort abuse victims. Hervé recorded a single for an Epic Records compilation album entitled Children of the World. The single featured two tracks, Why and When a Child is Born. Why do people have to fight? Though popular with the public, Hervé proved to be a difficult actor on Fantasy Island, where he continually propositioned women and quarreled with the producers. 
He was eventually fired after demanding a salary on par with that of his co-star Ricardo Montalban. Hervé was then replaced with Christopher Hewitt of Mr. Belvedere and the Producers fame. Hervé went on to star in the 1980s movie Forbidden Zone. He would also then appear in the movie Airplane 2, the sequel, and episodes of Different Strokes and Taxi. In the 80s, he became popular in Spain due to his impersonations of Prime Minister Felipe González in the TV show Viaje con Nosotros, Travel with Us, with showman Javier Guruchaga. <laughs> Hervé became an alcoholic and very depressed, so he missed several roles that he was offered. His health problems also increased, mostly suffering from ulcers and a spastic colon. Hervé nearly died of pneumonia in 1992. Sadly, on the afternoon of Saturday, September 4th, 1993, after having watched a movie, he wrote a note and made a tape recording before taking his own life in the backyard. Hervé made his final appearance in a cameo as himself in an episode of The Ben Stiller Show. Excuse me, you're Hervé Villachez. That's right. You played that too, right? Uh, right. Uh -huh. You blow me away. Thank you very much. No, 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 I'm telling you what you do, it's really unbelievable. I'm glad you like it. No, 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 I'm telling you, I really get what you do, the whole thing, ringing the bell in the three-piece suit, Fantasy Island, I love it. Hervé Villachez was a talented and troubled actor who made his way into the hearts of so many people and will always be remembered for his accomplishments and generous contributions. A true pop culture icon. <laughs>